Now, closer to home, we've got Cricket Australia, who are looking at, in the next few weeks, coming out with their view on The Voice, because, obviously, very, very relevant to cricket. They're going to be giving a special briefing to Pat Cummins, Meg Lanning and other senior Australian cricketers about The Voice before they head off to the Ashes. Because, again very relevant to the most sought-after prize in world cricket. Thank goodness they'll be getting this before they go. But one thing that makes the Cricket Australia team stand out is that unlike other leagues, AFL, NRL, I mean, we're, we're running out of names here, to come out and fly their flag and say where they stand on the voice, at least they are briefing these guys. They say it's to give them a chance to ask questions and to get their superstars feedback, which is very interesting when you consider that this is what Warren Mundine had to say yesterday during the parliamentary inquiry regarding The Voice. You know, I get phone calls, I can tell you now, I get phone calls every day of the week from football players, uh, from people involved in AFL and rugby league, and soccer, and they're saying they're scared. Uh, they don't support the voice, but they're scared to come out about it. It, it has silenced people. Anyone who says that it hasn't, uh, I think you're often yeah, 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 Lynn. Which begs the question, at what point, despite what your, your league, your, the higher-ups have said, at what point does this become a personal issue? There's Warren Mundine saying, oh, they're too scared to speak out about it because, you know, the, the big guys, the elites, have come out and said this is where our league stands on it. Stuff that. If you're a person of conviction, <laughs> be like the Manly and Seven who were like, I'm not wearing the jersey. They didn't lose their job. And if enough people pushed back, mm. just like during the pandemic, just like any of this utter virtue signalling nonsense, whether it's regarding LGBTIQ issues, the voice, climate change, you name it, if enough people mm. who wanted to say no would actually just speak up and voice it, Problem over. It's all very well for us to sit here and say to guys in their early 20s with a $1 million contract on the line, no, you should speak up and, and risk your career. I don't think they're going to do that. It's what's best for the over... country. <laughs> sure. You are literally saying conviction means nothing. I'm literally Instead saying you're very nothing. naive, believing that young guys on million-dollar contracts are going to no, risk it all I to speak against the Indigenous voice to I Parliament personally... after Cricket Australia do a briefing that you believe is going to be this amazingly kind thing. They're briefing the players. Do you think you this Price is going to do the None of the other leagues wanted Cricket Australia are going to come out in support and of the voice the and they're just making questions. sure the players know you are this is our absolutely, stance. Absolutely. You're filling in the blanks here. That is wild speculation, all, Jay. What, so you think Cricket Australia are going to say no? Why are they taking a position at all? Well, their position <laughs> should be we have no position. Correct. Well, we Everyone don't know their position Everyone gets to go into yet. the ballot box. Everyone gets to go into the ballot box and have their personal vote because yep. ultimately this is what this is about. 